Thank you.
It's been a year in which everyone has had to dig deep to achieve success. I've never been more proud of any organisation that I've served or any group of students or colleagues that I've had the privilege to work with. Our entire community has come together as one Cardiff Met. Staff and students have given their all in the most challenging of times. And they tell me they're immensely proud to work for and not simply at Cardiff Met. All the measures that have been put in place were essentially to make sure that the staff experience is prioritised, the student experience is prioritised and everything else falls into place other than the other way around where we're focusing on our retention targets, we meet our NSS targets. Right from the very start our university said that nobody absolutely nobody, irrelevant of who they were, what contract they were on, would suffer because of it. We said we'd pay 100% of all wages, we said that we'd pay all of our suppliers. I'm very, very grateful for Cardiff Met for supporting me through this period financially, but also um, giving me opportunities during the process to meet more people, have more training have the flexibility to work from home. So in many, many ways supported me through the pandemic. Lots of people are struggling with childcare, children being off school, very young children being at home as well, and I was one of those people. And so to have the university be really obvious and forthcoming in us being able to work when we could and do what we could when we could was really positive. And I could concentrate on raising my child in a pandemic, essentially. <laughs> University was always with us in terms of any help. University took care of everything, literally, uh, mental health, well-being, everything. It wasn't that bad, bad experience than we actually thought in the beginning, so our university uh, took all the responsibility. There's a human element to it that I think is, lots of people don't realise that there is in higher education. That's definitely come through over the last year. I couldn't think of a better employer. Uh, they've invested in me, they value us, and we feel part of, of the growth. Cardiff Met belongs to the staff, really, and we couldn't be prouder. One Cardiff Met is what really summarises my experiences. Uh, we were all in this together, we all supported each other. I'd say that we as a staff feel respected um, and trusted and I think for your own well-being at work and being able to switch off and feel like you've done a good job at the end of the day that's really important. I think it made people realise clearly that Cardiff Met cared, that Cardiff Met was looking after them. The Cardiff Met said do what you can do during this time, your health and well-being came first and that's vital. I think I entered the building the first time I felt like a bird in the cage with the broken wings, broken heart and, and a terrible mess in my head because of everything that was happening. I left the university as a bird that can fly. You think it's a very simple thing to dream what is there. But until that ability to dream is taken from you, you don't, you can't understand the meaning of that. That when you wake up and you don't think that, I just want this weekend or next weekend or next year in future, I want this. Even if it doesn't happen, but you still dream. But when I came to Cardiff Med, I couldn't dream. And when I left Cardiff Med, I can't say I left it, to be honest. When I stopped visiting Cardiff Med every week, I, I think I start, I, I got that my ability to dream again.
Cyprian Handa Akroiso. Good afternoon and welcome. We, the University, promised in June 2020 that when we could, we would come together at a traditional graduation ceremony to mark the amazing achievements of the class of 2021. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to welcome you to the Cardiff Metropolitan University graduation ceremonies for the class of 2021. You have made it. Before we do, just a couple of housekeeping points. Let's show our appreciation for all our students by applauding and cheering as the graduates process across the stage. Can you please make sure your mobile phones are on silent for the duration of the ceremony? We don't, ex we don't expect any fire alarms today, but should the unexpected happen, then please, uh, the, the, sorry, the staff of the Millennium Centre will escort you to the assembly points. We would ask that you remain in your seats until the conclusion of the ceremony and the stage party has processed out. Please will you all stand for the academic procession. I call upon the University Chair of Governors to open this ceremony. I declare this congregation formally open. Please be seated. Mm -hmm. 
I call upon the President and Vice-Chancellor of the University, Professor Cara Aitchison, to make the opening address. Lord Mayor, Chair of the Board of Governors, colleagues, student union representatives, graduands, families and friends, it's our great pleasure to receive students from across Wales and the wider world here for our graduation ceremonies for the class of 2021. And we're delighted that after an absence of nearly three years, we return to the Wales Millennium Centre once again to a building that's come to symbolise Wales, our nation's culture, and now very much our hopes for the future. I'd like to say a particular welcome to our partner colleges today. We have graduates from all over the world, from the Applied Science University in Bahrain, from Varna University of Management in Bulgaria, City Unity College in Cyprus and Greece, the Arab Academy for Science and Technology in Egypt, SIST in Morocco, the Universal Business School in Mumbai, India, Gulf College, Oman, Beacon International College in Singapore, and Dimensions International College in Singapore, the London School of Commerce, and ICBT in Sri Lanka. And you are, are all most welcome in joining our global community here at Cardiff Met. And this is a ceremonial occasion. It's evolved over the university's now 157-year history. It's also a celebratory occasion, and we have much to celebrate this year. So I encourage you, our graduands, to show your appreciation for your fellow students as they cross the stage by applauding the last as loudly as the first. And you, our graduates of 2021, have waited very patiently for this day. When you embarked on your student journey as long ago as 2017 or 2018, no one could have imagined that we'd now be coming towards the end of a very long and testing global pandemic, or that we would now be witnessing a war in Europe. You've had the most challenging of roads to travel, and you should be very proud of your efforts, your determination, and your resilience. And the routes that we take through life are rarely linear. There are detours and deviations along the way, but it's without doubt that you have had one of the most challenging of journeys through your time as a student. Wherever you're from and whatever route you took, you're here now because you've been successful. And in most cases, that success will have been supported by my colleagues here on the platform, by your friends and family, many in the congregation today, and some, I'm sure, who are watching online from all over the world. I'd like us just to take a moment at the beginning of this ceremony for myself and my colleagues to show our congratulations of you and perhaps for you to show your appreciation and thanks for all those who have helped you on this very difficult journey and to reach this very successful conclusion. Congratulations. Thank you, Dioch. While the coronavirus pandemic has undoubtedly brought the very worst of times that many of us have known in our lifetime, it's also shown the very best of Cardiff Met students and staff. Our health and social care staff and students returned to work on the front line. Teacher education students supported many parents with homeschooling. 
scientists and product designers across the university created and donated PPE and sophisticated testing equipment. Our biomedical science staff remained at work to pioneer innovative research into antibody testing. Our sports staff and teacher education students kept our community active with online well-being programs. And on our campuses that never fully closed during any of the lockdowns, estate staff helped us host Wales National Blood Donor Centre and a COVID testing centre to reduce the footfall in hospitals. And you, our students from the School of Management, have demonstrated initiative and selflessness in the service that you've given to the wider community and our economy throughout the pandemic. During that time, sustainability and inclusivity formed a major focus for the School of Management and CSM students helped to improve the university's green credentials through their work in sustainable procurement, carbon accounting, marketing, energy reduction and heating sources. And this work contributed directly to the university climbing to become first in Wales and fifth in the UK in the People and Planet League of 154 universities. Staff member Dr. Alwyn Yafeli was appointed to lead the university's work on race equality as we progress from being a non-racist to an actively anti-racist university in line with Welsh Government's Race Equality Plan 2030. Students taking the Level 4 Diversity and Inclusion module within the school showcased their work in a major conference on championing inclusivity and diversity in industry and academia organised by the Department for Tourism, Hospitality and Events. And you all worked proactively and professionally to build partnerships with employers in business and industry to secure some of the highest levels of graduate employment that we've ever seen within the university. And while you've been busy pursuing your careers, your new careers, my colleagues and students across our university have continued to be busy and successful too. Your university has grown, it's diversified, and it's improved significantly with this success evidenced by major improvements in all league table positions and, most recently, the awards of the Times and the Sunday Times Welsh University of the Year 2021 and, even more recently, the award of the Times Higher Education UK and Ireland University of the Year 2021. And Cardiff School of Management has seen the addition of the Moot Court to support the teaching of the new LLB law degree. And we also developed a new aviation management degree offered in partnership with the prestigious Embry-Riddle Aviation University in Florida. Our School of Technologies, launched in 2018, now has over a thousand students studying in new accommodation on the Llandaff campus. Our Global Academies, launched in 2020, are delivering interdisciplinary, cutting-edge research and innovation in health and human performance, human-centered design, and food science, safety, and security, all working to tackle some of the most entrenched global challenges. Our new master plan for our estate will see investment of over £80 million to remodel the Kincoid campus, make further investment in Llandaff and Plasgwyn residences, ensuring our whole university achieves net zero at the earliest possible opportunity. And our civic mission here in Cardiff has seen 6,000 children a year benefit from the opportunity of experiencing sport, physical activity and well-being delivered by our students on campus. 
Our international work now delivers Cardiff Met degrees to over 10,000 students a year in 17 partner colleges in 15 countries around the world. And as a designated university of sanctuary hosting academics and students who've been displaced by war and conflict, we're committed to continuing to support those from Afghanistan, Ukraine, and other countries. And we've just welcomed our first Council for At-Risk Academic Fellow to Cardiff Met, a woman who, until August last year, was an economics lecturer in Afghanistan. And last month, we launched a £400,000 initiative of support for academics and students displaced and affected by the war in Ukraine. This week, over 5,000 students from the outstanding class of 2021 and from over 100 countries will graduate from Cardiff Met. And the list is impressive. I'd like to read the whole list of countries. But let me just say it starts with Afghanistan. It ends with Zimbabwe. It includes Ukraine and Russia. And together, all of our students and graduates are seeking to make a difference to peace, prosperity, and social justice in Wales, the wider UK, and all around the world. And it's our education and research that is our soft power around the globe. It's our response to the global events of the last few years, the coronavirus pandemic, and now an international war. This is our response to military aggression. It's our catalyst for economic prosperity, social mobility, and cultural cohesion here in Wales, the wider UK, and all around the globe. And you've already embarked on your graduate journeys. And I ask that you continue to act as our catalysts for change, that you celebrate our university's values of creativity, diversity, freedom, and innovation, and that you live our values and our behaviors of leadership, trust, courage, and accountability. And your university has a motto, and that motto is the most valuable possession is knowledge. And as graduates, you now have this valuable possession. So as you make your way in the world as our change makers and peace builders, you'll no doubt continue to encounter challenges and deviations along the way. But please remember when you encounter those obstacles that you're one of the outstanding class of 2021, the class that overcame some of the biggest challenges that we have seen in our lifetimes. You have the knowledge, you have the skills, you have the experience to go on and achieve your dreams and your ambitions. My colleagues and I are extremely proud of every single one of you, and we want you to feel very proud of yourselves. Please enjoy this day of great ceremony and celebration. You've all done amazingly well to reach this point. Congratulations. Thank you.
We call upon Professor David Brooksbank, Dean of the School of Management. President and Vice-Chancellor, I present to you students who've been awarded within the Cardiff School of Management. Judy Stockford will announce the students who've been awarded the Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Accounting. students will receive the award Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Louise Edwards. Alia Mary Elizabeth Hempsall. <laughs> Azam Faisal Kanampurath. <laughs> Lewis William Lambert. receive the ACCA Student of the Year Award for Accounting and the Graham Paul Prize for Audit, Gareth John Lias. <clears throat> Lucy Marchant. Carl Fippard. <laughs> Anna Piddock. <laughs> Tanya Sultana. Following students will receive the award for Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Accounting and Finance. Bahima Akhtar. <laughs> Anin Al Kuloub Salim Kamis Salim Al Amrani. Alamgir Ali. <laughs> Sundas Khalid. <laughs> to receive the ICAEW Student of the Year Award for Accounting and Finance. Tyler Bodnarazek. <laughs> Karim El Tahawi. <laughs> Sadie Jo Evans. Receive the Graham Paul Prize for Taxation, Megan Greedy. <laughs> Billy James Caton. <laughs> Ali.
Abdur Rahim Jibhai. Ugne Juganelaiti. Hamid Abu Kashem. Abid Khan. Amir Khan. Denied Khan. Hena Khan. Abdul Karim Klisharo. Mohammed Malik. Victoria Mitzi. Mohamud Mohammed. Dion Neavure. Arifu Rahman. Denied Zahid. Galin Rusev. Shamsan Amar Abdel Salam Shamsan. Daniel Siddiq. Tamir Zubaya Soda. Karim Zaid Saudi. Lauren Brine Dr. Soraya Rowe will announce the Bachelor of Science with Honours in Banking and Finance. The following students will receive the Bachelor of Science with Honours in Banking and Finance. Yanan Liu. <laughs> Jem Saru. <laughs> Thomas Self. The following students will receive the Bachelor of Science with Honours in Economics. Joseph Maguire. <laughs> Ziad Mohamed Afoli. Yute Chahan. Yeah. 
The following students will receive a Bachelor of Arts with honours in Business Economics. Nafisa Ali. <laughs> Nicholas Duridas. The following student will receive Bachelors of Economic and Social Studies with honours in International Economics and Finance. Azan Alte. Dr. Chang Liu will announce a Bachelor of Science with honours in International Accounting and Finance. Nosa Otoni Omo Craigie. Yosef Babachudi Lowe. The following students will be awarded Master of Science in Counting and Finance. Yo Jin Chin. Ready that? Bukoma Yakibu. <laughs> Lawrence Ikuru Homan. <laughs> the following students will be awarded. Master of Science in Financial Management. Misa Masi. <laughs> Sarah Judy. <laughs> Jesse Katia Noyokubu. The following students will be awarded Master of Science in Economics and Finance. Candenda Kritazi. <laughs> Ifumo Lucia over Rocchio. The students will be awarded Master of Science in Banking and Finance. Maria Hassain Adi L. Resi. Dr. Hannah Marriott will announce a Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Digital Marketing Management. Macaulay Williams. <laughs> 
Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Marketing Management, Zainab Pfizer Abbas. Prize winner for Marketing Management Student of the Year, Sophia Bassina. Faith Inumoa. Kieran Kiohaney. Caitlin Perrett. Jack Bradley Ramsdale. Aidan Stewart. Joe Tidy will announce the Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Fashion Marketing Management. Lily Boswell. <laughs> Tamsin Cairns. Alice Chittak. <laughs> Alicia Ruth Disney Pollard. <laughs> Billy Elliott. <laughs> Simon Richards. Megan Nolan. <laughs> Abigail Gooman. <laughs> Sophie Hayden. <laughs> Sophie Herring. Bobby Joe Hodgetts. <laughs> Lily John. <laughs> Lucy King. <laughs> Alana McDonald. Olivia Marshment. <laughs> Victoria McArdle. <laughs> Eleanor Meeks. <laughs> Lauren Mills. Bethany Partridge. <laughs> Thomas Pierce. <laughs> Josephine Price. <laughs> Rhiannon Phillips. And 
Dr. Anja Cockrell will announce a Master of Science in Strategic Marketing. Rachel Jane Hollidge. Matthew Thomas. And Joe Tidy will return to announce the Master of Science in Fashion Marketing Management. Zainab Bello. Kirsty Bonetta. Dr. Tahir Mushtaq will announce the Master of Science in Digital Marketing Management. Geeta Abadi. Jake Bestford. Benjamin Thomas Clement. Christina Lucy Ambrogio. Lily Grace Evans. Karen Hill. Vilayluk Tirakai. Jessica Hurst. Emily James. Mary Head Lewis. Ellie May Lloyd. So Katie May Lloyd, Katie is also best overall performance in digital marketing management. Nathan Procope. Tommy Roberts. Rida Rehani. <laughs> Matilda Walker. <laughs> Holly Emily Young. So, MSc Award student, Ashima Ashima, MSc Financial Management. Dr. Emma Bettison will announce the Bachelor of Arts with Honours in International Tourism Management. Brooklyn Skeet. <laughs> Le 
Phoebe Louise Stokes. Lisa Thomas. Sarah Jones. To receive the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in International Tourism and Events Management, Emily Buck. <laughs> Mia Ellis Morgan. <laughs> to receive the John Dobson Memorial Award, Katie Green. Lucy John. <laughs> Megan Mahoney. <laughs> Ellen Mathias. <laughs> Chelsea Louise Oliver. Josephina pa Payne. <laughs> Sophie Joanna Pennicat. <laughs> Georgia John. Dr. Darry Jimangle Jones will announce the Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Events Management. Olivia Hannah Mary Barbado. <laughs> Georgia Hope Birch. Rosie Boyce. <laughs> to receive the prize for Events Management Student of the Year and Cardiff School of Management Student of the Year, Natalia Kreese. <laughs> Glanville Joaquim de Lima. Chloe Fox. Josh Harvey. Meccan Nicole Havercroft. Gemma Jones. Megan Jones. Jake Lee David Kingston. Raya Karasi Kaliva. Emma Louise Matthews. Lily Price. <laughs> Ashley Phillips. <laughs> Holly Davis. <laughs> Emma Louise.
Alicia Jane Thomas. Benjamin Salmon. <laughs> Megan Thomas. <laughs> Charles Jones. Max Oz Ailing Sadie Hannah Morgan Tina Negan Gatlin Walker Lauren Watkins. Georgina Weber. Heather West. Amy Wyatt. Brianne Wilson. Okay. To receive the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Marketing Management, Manuel Rodilla. Lisa Wright will announce the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in International Hospitality Management. Barbara Brabkova. Adam Niall Townend Ionietta. <laughs> Maxine Jennifer Bridget Robinson. <laughs> Tiffany Lee. Chloe C. Caitlin Young. To receive the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in International Hospitality and Events Management, Tai Fong An Do. <laughs> Chelsea Lewis. To receive the SA Brain International Hospitality Management Student of the Year, Sean Craig MacDonald. Aisha <laughs> Zukilfli. Amber Charlotte Nutt. <laughs> Tyler Pikes. <laughs> to, 
to receive the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in International Hospitality and Tourism Management, Krishna Makoro. Natidi Shrifan. <laughs> Eleonora Stanger. <laughs> Dr. Emma Bettinson will announce the Master of Science in International Tourism and Hospitality Management. Adam Carvel. Donabel Dilau Romanovska. Eva Janos. <laughs> Julia Wojciechowska. <laughs> to receive the award of Master in Science in International Hospitality and Tourism Management with internship. Kiep Huang Lee. <laughs> to receive the award of Master of Science in Event Project Management, Sophie Pengeli. <laughs> Nicola Morgan. Louisa Roche. <laughs> to receive the award of a postgraduate certificate in applied social research. Samuel Mark Harrison. The following students will be awarded the Postgraduate C Certificate in Sustainable Leadership. Adam Butler. Natalie Ferry. <laughs> Helen Munro. <laughs> Sabine Williams. Dr. Aylwin Yafele will announce a Master of Science in Entrepreneurship and Innovation Management. Abdul Aziz Ibrahim Faraj Abed. Natasha Best. Island Jones. Azar Mohammed Khan Mansour.
to receive the award of a Master of Science in Financial Management, Emmanuel Oyodeji Adelai. So at this stage in the ceremony, I'm delighted to announce that the Cardiff School of Management Dean's Award for the 2021 class goes to Natalia Kreese. As, as many of you who have already crossed the stage today will know, Natalia graduates today from the BA Events Management course. And it's always wonderful when I ask my academic colleagues if they remember a particular student from a particular year, and they immediately respond positively with both vivid memories and pride. In the words of her program director, Natalia was an outstanding student who stood out in her cohort for her sheer tenacity and determination. Above all, she had a conscientious approach throughout every year on the events management course and was a real credit to her fellow students in the way she worked on group projects and in the inspiring way in which she engaged in online courses. Now, during a difficult time for all of you in the audience, especially with the online learning, Natalia was very often the one to break the ice in teams, and I didn't quite know what to make of that, uh, and encourage everyone to get the most out of the experience, no matter what the reality of lockdown for you all. Natalia always offered her best, developing what my colleagues report as excellent critical thinking skills, pushing the boundaries with her research, and maintaining a positive mental attitude through the most challenging of times. Academically, Natalia also excelled, consistently achieving good results in her final year modules, and she received the highest mark in her year group for an outstanding dissertation project that looked at UK media representations of pride festivals. The dissertation project utilised a set of innovative methodologies to explore this important topic, and importantly, as an academic, the research has since been published in the Journal of Policy Research in Tourism, Leisure and Events, a truly wonderful achievement. So can I ask you all to join me again, please, in congratulating Natalia as I asked her to progress across the stage to receive her award from the Vice-Chancellor. Well done. So Dr. Mukul Madaha will now announce the Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Accounting and Finance at the Applied Science University in Bahrain. Fatima Elias Mohamed Saleh Mohamed Al Rais. Hafsa Ali Aid Matar Jasim. From a partner city, Unity College in Greece, to receive the award of Bachelor of Science with honors in psychology, Eleni Adriani Leventi. From a partner in Egypt, Arab Academy for Science and Technology, to receive the award of Masters of Business Administration, Alexandra Isaac Adib Atiyah. <laughs> From a partner in Morocco, CIST, to receive the award of Business and Management Studies with International Business Management, Lina Amrani Najjar. to receive the award of Bachelor of Arts with honors in Business and Management Studies with Marketing, Iman Ben Limam. <laughs> in 
Iman Oel Benazuz. Aya Sadawi. To receive the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honors in Business Management Studies with Law, S.M. Gaffer Nasser Al Karaz. <laughs> to receive the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honors in Business and Management Studies, Hamid Gaffer Nasser Al Karaz. To receive the award of Masters of Business Administration, Maryam Al Kamili. Nora Eradi. Ghislan Hamley. To receive the award of MBA in Project Management, Ibrahim Robert Kiazulu. <laughs> to receive the award of Masters of Business Administration, Ayman Kabaj. From a partner in India, Universal Business School, to receive the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honors in Business and Management Studies, Rithik Bora. From a partner, Gulf College of Man, to receive the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honors in Business and Management Studies, Ahmed Mohammed Nasser Al Bahri. Abdul Rahim Zayed Saleh Al Junaibi. <laughs> to receive the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honors in Business and Management Studies, Mais Fala Saif Al Mamri. To receive the award of Masters of Business Administration, Kamla Ali Khalfan Al Kasmi. <laughs> to receive the award of Masters of Business Administration, Zaki Saleh Sulayam Al Shaksi. Abdul Aziz Yaya Hamoud Al Husseini. <laughs> Musab Abdullah Hamid Al Balushi. <laughs> to receive the award of Masters of Business Administration in Project Management. Suleiman Nasser Mohammed Al Kindi. <laughs> to receive the award of MBA, uh, Ali Said Abdullah Al Rashti. To receive the award of Masters of Business Administration in Business Analytic, Srinidhi Gomati Venkatesan Salai. From a partner in Singapore Beacon International College, to receive the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honors in International Hospitality Management, Paramaguru Velnathan.
from a partner in Singapore, again from Dimensions International College, to receive the award of Masters of Business Administration, Ai Thinzar Kyo. Zai Zai Tun Luin. To receive the awards of Masters of Business Administration in Project Management, Hutut Aung Ye. Dr. Claire Haven Tang will now award the Doctor of Philosophy. To receive the award of Doctor of Philosophy at London School of Commerce for his thesis entitled an assessment of the impact of IT on accounting information systems, an empirical study of listed banks in Jordan, supervised by Dr. Ignatius Ikanmen and Professor James Olungni, Ab Adel Mad Mohammed Abdul Qatar. To receive the, the award of Doctor of Philosophy at London School of Commerce for his thesis entitled Deferred Model for Evaluating and Improving the Dubai Metro Train Security Management, supervised by Dr. Thomas Baum and Dr. Frank's Frank Asia Ma Ghanim Ali. To receive the award of Doctor of Philosophy at London School of Commerce for his thesis entitled Personal Cloud Storage Service and Examination of Ser Quality of Service, supervised by Dr. Elias Pimentes and Dr. Rudolf Brown, our Sikander. the award Doctor of Philosophy at London School of Commerce for his thesis entitled The Impact of Perceived Organisational Support on Employees' Work Outcomes in Sri Lanka and the United Arab Emirates, supervised by Professor Robin Matthews and Dr Atta Rahman, Mohammed Ashmal Mohammed Hashim. To receive the award of Doctor of Philosophy at London School of Commerce for the thesis entitled The Impact of Customers' Expectations on Cross-Cultural Marketing in the Hotel Industry, a comparative study of the United Kingdom and India, supervised by Dr. Victoria Walingo and Dr. Lawrence Akakweti, Upal Kataram Sonawain. And to receive the award of Doctor of Philosophy at London School of Commerce for a thesis entitled Intellectual Com Capital Value Creation and Firm Performance in Singapore, supervised by Dr. Charles Elad and Dr. Vijay Shenai, Marie Ting Mingkwal. From a partner college in Sri Lanka, ICBT, to receive the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Business and Management Studies, Tarusha Akshan Kana Kanage. <laughs> to receive the award of Masters of Law in International Business with Employment and Human Resources, Nisan Sala Lakshmini Ilai Peruma.
to receive the award of Masters of Business Administration, Hewa Manage Menik Sankalpa. Saman Sujivan Ranawaka Atipatu. Tanuka Raja Sekaram. Dil Rukshi Lianage Vijaratne. To receive the award of Masters of Law in International Business with Finance, Pratipa Arnold Priyanthan. <laughs> to receive the award of Masters of Science in Strategic Marketing, Sulare Fernando. Dulki Lianage. <laughs> to receive the award of Masters of Business Administration, Sella Kapu Taruka Lakshani De Silva. <laughs> Chatura. Ravindra Sumati Vardhana. <laughs> Venuja Prabhathash. <laughs> Budhika Kumara De Silva Galamaga Archa Chilage Don Pasquale. To receive the award of Masters of Business Administration in Business Analytics, Shavini Rukshila Marapana. <laughs> to receive the award of Bachelor of Science Honors in Software Engineering, Divya Nimsara Sandaderini Siti Muluva. Nipun Jayasanka Amarakun. So would all students from the Cardiff School of Management please stand. President and Vice-Chancellor, I call upon you to admit these graduands. By the authority vested in me by Cardiff Metropolitan University, I admit you to your various awards as indicated in the programme and to all the privileges of those awards. Congratulations outstanding class of 2021. Congratulations to you all again. Graduates, please be seated. 
Thank you. And I now call upon the University Chair of Governors, Mr. John Taylor, CBE, to address the ceremony. Well, uh, that was a, a good ceremony and some good hand clapping. Ladies and gentlemen, but more specifically, the class of 2001, <coughs> on behalf of the university's governing body and all of the staff at Cardiff Metropolitan University, can we just pass on our congratulations on your success? It's already been said, but you've gone through a massive incredibly difficult uh, year or two or three uh, and it hasn't it hasn't finished yet uh, and you've been able to to get through it you're now alumni uh, of and ambassadors for cardiff metropolitan university and as a graduate um you're going to join part of our growing community and we are not far short of a quarter of a million graduates now uh, across the world. That's, that's a powerful number, bearing in mind you're all going to become the entrepreneurs, leaders uh, of tomorrow. Uh, you've already started a new chapter in, in your life, uh, and we want to continue to support you. Re remember, the university is always here to support you in provide your help in whatever, whether it be uh, employment advice, how to progress your career, perhaps if you want to come back and study further through discounted fees uh, or what have you. But we, we, are, we are there to help, so keep in touch with our website. Um, let us know about your successes and your experiences because though we know you're going to achieve things, uh, great things in life, if you don't tell us, we'll never find out. But more importantly, the people who won't find out are the graduates of tomorrow. And sharing your stories, your success, your experience with the graduates of tomorrow is really, really uh, important because that will inspire them to continue to study and go on and be successful. In your class of 2021, you, you, you have acquired a great education, a great set of professional skills underpinned by our values, uh, which you've deliberately been created to enable you to become a, a truly global citizen and to help your friends, uh, your colleagues, and your employees uh, of, of the future. You have the power to do a lot of good uh, with education. You have the power to bring your talents to help prosperity uh, and peace. Now, as I said a little bit earlier, you have gone through an astonishing period. You've experienced a new way of learning, which actually is going to equip you to deal with an incredibly changing workplace. The workplace of the future will be nothing like the workplace of the past. It's going to be a hybrid mix of online working and yet further automation. Now, in doing that, you're going to face massive new challenges. And whilst your degree will have prepared you well, there's a constant need for continuous development and growth so you can reach your full potential. We're all still learning, I'm, 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 I'm still learning now. So remember, we're always here to help you to find the best version of yourselves. So on behalf, again, of the university's governing body and all of the staff at the university, I wish you every success for the future as a Cardiff Met. Take care, look after yourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, you, the class of 2021 graduates, 
We hope that this day was worth waiting for and that you have all enjoyed this graduation ceremony. Do continue to celebrate throughout the day and have a safe journey home. Please, can you all stand and remain standing until the platform party has left the auditorium. I call upon the Chair of Governors to formally close this ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, to formally finish this congregation, congratulations, and as we said, once again, enjoy your lives. Thank you. Thank you.